There are a number of different therapeutic approaches that can target hypoxia within tumours. Um, you can use drugs that directly kill hypoxic cells, hence trying to remove that population from the tumours, or you can use drugs that potentially modify how the cells are using oxygen within tumours, which in itself can actually alleviate tumour hypoxia. And there are ongoing trials with those approaches at the moment. A lot of interest is also involved around how hypoxia can change other immune cell components within tumours that are also therapeutic targets in their own right. And this would lead into immune checkpoint inhibitor use with, in combination with radiation treatment. There are a number of different drug approaches that can be used in combination with radiation treatment that target the microenvironment or target other compositions within um, the microenvironment. Some of the work that we've done from Manchester that has been translated into clinical trial is using combinations of drug that target certain oncogenic pathways such as MEK inhibitors in combination with radiation treatment and also um, inhibitors of angiogenic processes within um, the tumours. I think there's a, a lot of scope for understanding more, um, understanding more clearly the contribution that various different oncogenic signalling pathways are actually playing on the tumour microenvironment and how that develops. This enables us to use different types of inhibitors in combination radiation treatment. So for example, um, oncogenic drivers such as AKT, PI3 kinase, they're all readily targetable with drugs that have already proceeded into clinical trial. We can combine these uh, with radiation treatment and enhanced response and this gives us a ready way in which to take forward new uh, drug combinations for radiation treatment.